what's up it's sherry so i decided to introduce a new series here on my channel and it is a thrift with me type of videos so lately i picked up this new hobby of thrifting and i absolutely enjoy it i've just been so inspired by all these other people here on youtube with their thrift adventures and all the great finds that they found that i wanted to check out some local thrift shops here in my city so i've been thrifting for about a month now and it is so much fun so in this video i'm gonna go thrifting today and hopefully you guys enjoy it So I'm gonna go thrifting today. I'm going to stop off at Value Village. I'm here right now. I'm gonna go check out what they have inside. And then I might go check out the Salvation Army that I just drove by. I didn't know that, th that there was one there. So I'm gonna check it out today. And I also wanna check out Plato's Closet. I was gonna go there first, but I didn't know that uh, they're closed up until 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna check out Value Village first. Um, I kinda wanna see if they have like windbreakers cause I feel that windbreakers are in right now. So yes, let's go see what they have if I can come up with some gems today. <laughs> So I found this Vans t-shirt here in the men's section. I might hold on to this one. So I'm going to start off my shopping adventure here in the men's department because I feel that you can find a lot of good t-shirts in the men's section. So I'm just going to keep going to see if I can find anything good here. Metal Militia. Okay. Oh, look at this Nike one. It's a good color. It looks like a really good um, condition, but uh, it is still a little bit expensive, so I might pass on that. So I found this Adidas t shirt here. This one is $10. This one is a maybe. Then I came across this Adidas hoodie, which is it? 20 bucks. Um, no, So here are the pace setters from Breaker. Let's see how much this one is. This one is $20. Oh my god. Found another Adidas sweater here. This one is $11.99. Not as expensive, but still a no. Okay, so I'm gonna go check out the jeans aisle. See if I can find something good here. I kind of want to look for some Levi's jeans, hopefully I can find some, but if not, I'll take what I can find. Oh, these are cute. These are guest capris. These ones are $10, something. Yeah, so, yeah, it's cute. I'm gonna get these. So, basically, I am just gonna be going to each jean looking at to see if I can find any trannies because that is what I am in here for Mommy, do you think it's a little bit too big? I might not get these just because they're Tommy I just left Value Village. I spent literally two hours there. Crazy. Like, you need a lot of time to go through everything at the thrift store. I didn't realize that. But I did leave with six items. Got it all in this bag over here. I will go through them once I get home. I think I mostly found t shirts and stuff, like for workout. I, I bought a, I found a pair of guest jeans for $10. Not a bad price. Now I'm going to go check out Plato's Closet. I'm running out of time. I was going to go to Salvation Army, but I think I might just go a different day because I'm running out of time. It's 11 o'clock and I have to get the kids for lunchtime. So I'm just going to go check, quickly check Plato's Closet and see oh, what kind of good things they have there. Okay, so I'm now here at Plato's Closet. I see a sign there. So let's, so let's see what they have in store. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly 
basically browse around any rack here. Just gonna go look through just to kind of scrimmage. I don't know, I kind of find myself leaning towards the sweaters, so I might go check out the sweaters in just a bit. I'm not ready for these mini shorts yet. Okay, here we are. North Face. These sweaters are all in good condition, which is this one here. Here we go. 25 bucks. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try to find myself some capri pants or workout pants because I need it for the gym. But everything here is still above my price range. I got a pair of Reebok uh, workout pants because, like I said, I'm gonna be going to the gym and I need uh, some new gear. But uh, yeah, when I get home, I think I'll show you guys what I got. I am just gonna go quickly check this value village out here and see if they have anything good. Hopefully I have enough time to quickly look because it is almost 12.30. But I think I'm just gonna pick up the kids around um, one o'clock. So I'm gonna just have a little browse around here. Good old Value Village. Enjoying this thrift life here. All right. Oh my God, my water. So I found another piece that is a windbreaker here. How much is this one? Six bucks. This is cute. Here's a bench jacket. How much is this one here? Tell me, it is what? $22.99. This is cute though, but I don't think I want to pay 22 bucks for that. So I did just leave Value Village and I managed to leave there with three items. I got two jackets and a lamp because I have a project that I'm gonna do. I was able to find a really cool jean jacket and I got an Adidas windbreaker. I don't know, I might um, sell that on Depop. I don't know, it's an Adidas, very old style. I don't know, it just, I just saw it for like $13. I was like, yeah, I'll get it. But yeah, um, I'm running late, so I'm gonna go and I'll be back and share with you guys all the stuff that I got today. So much thrifting today, oh my God, it's exciting. All right, so I'm back and I'm gonna share with you guys today what I got from the thrift store. So I went to two different Value Village stores so I have um, two big tote bags of goodies over here. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I got from the first Valley Village. This is the bag that they gave me all my items in. Very cute. So I didn't really know what I was trying to look for when I went to the thrift store. Honestly, I didn't know. Um, I wasn't prepared, but in my mind, I wanted to look for like workout clothes. So I was trying to see if I could find some t-shirts. So basically what I got from this shopping adventure were just some t-shirts. And I think I got a pair of jeans, so I'm about to show you guys that right now. But before I share with you guys the t-shirt, this is what I was excited about for my purchase. I picked up this sweater. This is a zip-up sweater. I believe this is Lululemon. It has the logo back here as well. And I could not give up this sweater, even though I won't be able to fit this. This is a size small. This sweater was only $6.99, so I had to get it. Although I know I won't fit this, like this is a really small sweater. It says um, medium on the tag, but it feels like it fits like a size small. I just got it because it was $6.99 and I might put it up on my Depop because I do have a Depop account. I started it. Don't have a lot of items on there, but I'm slowly building up to put more items on there for sale. So this might go up on there. Like it's really nice. It's like a nice teal sweater and it just has some kind of embroidered designs around here which is also pretty cute so that was the first item that i got from the value village and then the next one i got was just this t-shirt it's also around the same color it's like a teal nike t-shirt over here thinking that i might wear this to work out in just kind of tie it up or even like cut off the sleeves i don't know 
but I saw this and it was in pretty good condition so I thought that I would just I would take it because why not it's Nike and then the next t-shirt that I got was an Adidas black plain black t-shirt it's a v-neck so this is $4.99 and I basically I'm just gonna wear this to work out in as well or I could just wear it um, kind of like a everyday kind of t-shirt maybe tie it up tuck it in I don't know crop it up we'll see but I could not give this up as well $4.99 whatever for Adidas not bad I found another Nike top here this is from the men's section it was just kind of just a sleeveless top and when I saw it I was like okay I'm gonna use this to work out basically everything in here that I got was for working out in this one was $6.49 so it's not bad like I didn't even notice like the material on this I can't even describe it I thought it was just a plain cotton but then it has a little bit of a like a sheer shine to it I don't know if the camera is picking it up but it's it's different it's like it's shiny I don't know what you call that kind of material but yeah that is it this is the Nike uh, t-shirt here leave this t-shirt and I got another Adidas t-shirt so it's all t-shirts. I got five. No, I got three, four, four. Sorry, I can't even count. Four t-shirts. I got a sweater. So this is the other one here that I got. This is Adidas. Also pretty cute. Again, for working out. Still in good condition. Still looks um, just very slightly worn. This one was like $9.99, still a bit pricey, but you know, I still got it. And then the last item that I got from that value village were these guest capris. I got these ones over here. These are guests. Saw it on the rack and I'm like, oh, this is cute. And this one was $9.49. So it's not bad. Although these are the medium rise jeggings, I will make it work because even if I can't really wear it just yet comfortably, I could wear it but not comfortably. Maybe in a few weeks or so from this program that I'm doing, I'll fit it much better but I just still could not give it up because it's guess. You know, I found a guest pair of jeans from my other thrifting adventure and I found another one so another score. Good for summer. I might even just add some rips to the legs again as well kind of give it some style so that's the items that i got from that first value village and i wasn't going to go to this value village but on my way home there was a value village there so i decided to just stop over and see if they had anything like i said i wanted to see if they had windbreakers that was my main um find that i wanted to look for and this bag before I get on with the items that I got there I picked up this lamp I know it's pretty random like why the heck would you want to pick this up but I don't even know if it works I'm hoping that it works if it doesn't then that would be a waste of seven bucks seven bucks this is a uh, $6.99 but I wanted I want to do a project I want to do a pineapple project like I want to make my own pineapple lamp like I was at I think it was Michael's or uh, Hobby Lobby when I was at the States and I saw a pineapple lamp and it was so cute that I had to try to recreate it so I found this little um, lamp post here that I'm going to use as a base and then I'm going to create my pineapple with the lampshade and I will post a video on that sometime in the future because I do have some ideas in mind that I want to do so I thought that this would be good for that project I mean it was only seven bucks if it doesn't work then I can just put one of those like fake candles on here for lighting it's just basically for the design and then I got this windbreaker I got this Adidas windbreaker over here it has a number here on the side and this one was $14 it was $13.99 I mean like it has it has the Kona logo on here. I think it was like for a soccer team or something like that. But you know, it's still pretty cute. Maybe somebody out there would want it. I got it because you know, I wanted um, a windbreaker. I might keep it for myself, I don't know. Or I might put it on Depop for anybody who wants a vintage style windbreaker. Look out for this, still deciding on that. And then the last thing that I got from that 
Jolly Village. It was another jacket. I saw this. I think it was hanging beside that windbreaker. And it was cute. I tried it on. And it looks so cute on. Oh, it had like that slouchy style. And although this jacket was $18.99, it is a bit pricey for the thrift store. When I saw it on, I just could not pass because it looked so cute. I mean, I could wear these this jacket like with a little short um, like dress or something or like black capris or whatever. I don't know how I'm going to style it, but I just thought it was a really cute jacket. So I had to get it. I mean, the price is not good, but the style is cute. So, you know, I just, I had to get it. I don't know what the make of this is. It's somewhere in China. There's like some kind of like Japanese logos or whatever on here. Um, weekend blues, I'm guessing. I don't know. But all in all, this one is so cute. What do you guys think? It's so cute. Like, I know denim jackets are like a thing right now. But have you guys seen a denim jacket look like this? Like, do you see this? Seriously, like it's so cute. I swear I love thrifting. Nobody, like my family doesn't understand it. They think that it's like, ew, you're, why would you buy clothes if you donate them? You wanna buy your old, old clothes back? It's not the point, you know? You can find some really good things. You can find name brand stuff. Although I'm still on the quest to do that. Like I'm starting, this is probably like my second, third time thrifting. So there's a lot of things that I need to know and learn when I go there, make a list because it literally takes like the whole day. Like if you want to get some good finds from the thrift store, you need at least the whole day because I was only thrifting for maybe like two and a half hours and that was not enough time. But I did have fun. And I can't wait to go on my next adventure to the thrift store, which will probably be next week. Who knows? I will do a video. Like every time I thrift, I'm going to take you guys with me because I find a lot of people like thrifting videos. Like I love watching thrifting videos and I'm hoping you guys will enjoy these kind of videos too. This is something that I want to introduce you to my channel as well. It's like thrifting, come thrifting with me. So if you guys did enjoy this, let me know and I will try to maybe make it a little bit better but other than that that is it i really did have fun i hope you guys thought think that my items are pretty awesome if you guys want to check out my depop um i will post a link in my description box down below also before i go i want to mention to you, to you guys that i have a new vlogging channel i'm slowly putting content on there as well and over there, I'm going to be vlogging more. I mean, I'm going to do some kind of vlogs on here. But for the most part, it will be on the other channel. And that will also be in my description box down below. Also, if you guys can check me out on my social media, I will have all the links there as well in the down bar and on the screen. So you guys can check me out there. Other than that, that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.